How's it going, everybody? Today we are doing another reading from r slash entitled parents. Today's stories, we have a mother ruined Christmas and an EM almost losing her eye. Let's get right into it. But Christmas is about family. I really enjoyed these stories and thought it's about time I shared a story about my mom. She's a special one. When I was in high school, my parents got a divorce. My mom has never stopped being bitter about it. She throws tantrums and tries to pull power moves to get more time and attention from her kids whenever possible. Since I live abroad, she kicks this behavior into overdrive whenever I come back to visit. This particular year, my grandmother on my father's side had passed away, and not long before that, his second wife had died. Needless to say, my dad had a rough couple of years, and he really wanted me home for Christmas, but I didn't have the funds to buy a ticket, so he bought me one. He even paid extra to give me more comfortable seats on the exit row on a direct flight so I could get there quickly and in comfort. He was putting me up at his place for an entire visit and feeding me all the food I could eat. Never once asked for a cent. The only thing he wanted was my company at the holidays. How could I say no to my recently widowed father? It was lovely spending time with him, meet the new lady in his life, and eat everything I can get here. Of course, I can't go home and not tell my mother I'm coming or visit her. Or visit her. First thing she does is start telling me how I'll spend Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with her and my brother. I told her that's unreasonable since my dad paid for me to spend time with him and she can have one day, not both. Not that money is the most important thing ever, but my dad put so much into bringing me there and deserves the greatest benefit. As opposed to the whiny selfish brat I have for a mother. She starts whining and laying on the guilt trip. But just staying with your dad, he gets to see you every day. It's not fair. I'm only asking for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Christmas is about family. Yeah, Mom, Christmas is about family, which is why I wanted to see my dad, his brothers, and my cousins. We were planning a sort of belated memorial dinner for my grandma, since most of us will be able to be together. My mom starts threatening to show up at my uncle's house to crash the dinner party, since we're still married, and in the eyes of God, we're still a, I'm still a part of the family. Thankfully, Dad's side of the family was prepared for her drama, and had planned for us to meet there on Boxing Day. But I still want to spend 24th or 25th with my dad, so my mom brings in the trump card. I've already told your grandparents we're coming to visit. Great. She always uses her, her parents who I adore. Rip Grandpa, he passed away a few years after this and as a way to get what she wants. They're only available for a visit on Christmas Day. They're elderly, they don't do anything but read books and nap. But it's not worth to argue. I talked to my dad He's super understanding, he was married to her for nearly 20 years, he knows how she is. I'm off to my mom's house for Christmas Eve. My brother and I are chilling out, cracking jokes, and reminiscing about dumb kid stuff. Mom is insisting we have to eat the stuff she likes, drinks what she wants, watch all the Christmas movies she wants to watch, and when I get a text from my best friend of 15 plus years. His mother, who has been battling cancer for years, has just passed on. I'm in shock. I tell my mom I need to go to his house right away since he's home alone and just lost his mother to cancer. My, my mom, but it's Christmas Eve, you can't go. Me, his mother just died. He's alone. I'm going there to make sure he is okay. Oh, you can't go! Christmas is about family! His family is dead. He is alone, and I am going to his house now. My mom actually shocked. I'm stepping back at her. 
Okay, fine. Go tell him I'm sorry about his mom. But you have to be home by 10. It's Christmas. It's 9 p.m. and I'm done with her crap. I'm going to his house and then... I'm going to his house and I will come back when I decide to. Do you really think an hour is enough time when his mother just died? Okay, be home by 11. Christmas is about family. By this time, my friend had arrived. He drove over to pick me up since I can't drive. And I just walked out without another word. I came home since... I came home sometime later than my mom's curfew and somehow survived the rest of the holiday. My mom never apologized nor saw the error of her ways. Thankfully, my friend was okay with the time, and while I'm super sad his mom died, I'm glad I was there when it happened. And yes, my mom did whine a bunch about me spending time to go to the funeral instead of spending time with her. Remember, Christmas is about family, just not the dead or grieving ones. Your mom is a terrible, terrible person for thinking that an hour to console your best friend is such an inconvenience when his mother just died of cancer. Wow, that's terrible. On to the next story. Entitled kid nearly loses a finger. Entitled mom nearly loses an eye. So, I told my dear old mom about this subreddit and surprise, surprise, she shares with me an EM story from when I was a wee little crap of just five years old. At the time, I had a toy plush in the shape of a cat. I took it everywhere. We were out shopping for food, and me being a strong, independent girl I was, going out to grab a bag of chips while my mom was in the same aisle. Q, the EK deciding my cat was his, he grabs the tail and hits me in the eye to make me let go. Now. 25 year old me is vindictive and petty. 5 year old me was just plain feral. My mom and EM are alerted to the little quarrel when I sink my teeth into his hand. But apparently I got some good grip on his thumb as he can't quite pull it free. Apparently I let go when he lets go of my cat and I let a strategic retreat to my mom. EM, some props to her I guess, checks on her kid's finger. It's still attached, and my mom believes he made a full recovery. Then EM comes to scream at us. Now, mom was perfectly willing to be civil, but when EM decided to try kicking me in the face, my mom hit her back with the 500 gram can of salted peanuts she had in her hand. Apparently, the can bent a bit when it hit the bone and bent inward to the, into the eye. My mom assured me EM made a full recovery, luckily. There is no cameras to record anything, but we had enough eyewitnesses to get me and mom off without much more than lost time. I might have been a little clickbaity with the title, but I got a few more EP stories to avoid any possible issues with rule number four. I'll post those on another day. Maybe your mom should have hit EM a little bit harder in the eye to cause some actual damage. I'm not condoning violence. I'm just saying, or maybe you could have just chomped down a little bit harder on EM's hand to maybe make him actually lose a finger. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you don't like and subscribe, an EM, a Karen, will go to your house and ask for your dog or cat or whatever pet you own. They will want it and they will take it from you. So please. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nexus Core Productions, signing off.